Lord. Nothing shall be impossible for Christ. Amen. He's good. Amen. Who's excited to worship him to me this morning? Yeah. To hear testimonies of what he's done, uh, what he's doing. Uh, this next song that we're going to do is just, again, it's just praising him for what he's done for us, who he is. He's our answer, our future. So join with us.
done in your life? What promises has he made? What promises has he kept? How faithful has he been? Maybe someone who can give a real praise of a testimony of what God is doing. Do we have someone who would share right off the bat? Let me get John here, and then you're, you'll be next. Yeah, uh, all praise to God. He's so very good to us. Uh, two weekends ago, I, I spent time on a weekend retreat. Uh, I've been doing these retreats now for about 18 years. They're called Close and Walk. Uh, I've been asking my brother to go for 18 years. Um, he finally came, and God absolutely overwhelmed him with his love and his grace, and I just cannot explain what my brother said to me was, there were so many things that I heard that weekend that I had heard before, but I just didn't hear them in my heart, and as a result of the weekend and the overwhelming love of God flowing through the men on this team. My brother just absolutely has surrendered his life to the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, one more, another testimony. Can we have more on this mic? We have a, a horizontal relationship with God, but we have, um, or a vertical, we have horizontal relationships with one another, and that's how the body of Christ works. John. Thanks. 
eyes that you never know walking around every day. A simple hello, somebody walk with their head down and you're thinking, is something wrong with this person? Yes, there's something heavy on that heart. And, 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 and when you question them and find out that it's an illness that's plaguing them and, and they walk with their head down, you can lift their head up and let them know that Jesus loved them. And he is a healer. And, and God has just been using me. I mean, I, 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 I'm pressing myself. You know, what is it, Lord? I mean, when I speak to a person and, and they say, you know what? I'm going to do this here. I'm going to do that. I'm saying, love your neighbor. Who is your neighbor?
Let's hold together with love, guys. Thank you. Let's all stand up and worship the Lord and give him praise. from Isaiah 53, just a few verses. It says, Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and with his wounds were healed. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. Like a lamb that is led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that before its share is a silent, so he opened not his mouth. Yet it was the will of the Lord to crush him. He has put him to grief. Out of the anguish of his soul, he shall see and be satisfied. By his knowledge shall the righteous one, my servant, make many to be accounted righteous, and he shall bear their iniquities. Amen. It's because of the sacrifice of God that we're able to come and, and testify of his goodness. So let's sing this next song, Man of Sorrows.
us as unlovely as we are, yet you love us. You paid the price. You want to have a relationship with us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for your, your great love that is manifested to us again and again and again. And even in the opportunity just to be together here today, it, it, it is an expression of your love. And we can gather together as your people and worship you. Thank you, Lord. so good. You may be seated for a moment. I'm so glad you're here today. I trust you've come expecting to meet with Jesus in a fresh and a new way today. I don't know about you, but I think, I think we've already been meeting with him. And God is so good. He's so faithful. Uh, he's, he's an amazing God.
Then we'll have a we'll have another uh, another worship series. I wore the shirt yesterday at the men's breakfast, and Pastor John was talking about giving us a heads up on testimonies today. And he came over to me and he said, uh, "Henry, you always have good testimonies." And then I guess he read what was on my shirt. You heard the call. I hear the call and go. So. I heard the call and I went. But the moral of the story is be careful what you wear and what you say around your pastors. And that's my testimony. Uh, actually, it's not. Uh, <laughs> I'm a, I do the, the daily devotional by uh, Oswald Chambers. And I like to read a little bit on this. Last week he was doing on prayer and I like to read a little bit on this the second day. And the title of it is Prayer in My Father's House. And the scripture he used was uh, Jesus speaking to his uh, mother and to his stepfather. And he said, they found him in the temple. And he said to them, did you not know that I must be about my father's business? Luke 2, 46 and 49. Our Lord's childhood was not in immaturity waiting to grow up into manhood. His childhood was an eternal fact. I am a holy, innocent child of God as the result of my identification with my Lord and Savior. Do I look at my life as being in my Father's house? Is the Son of God living in my Father's house in me? The only abiding reality 
is God himself, and he, his ordained uh, order comes to me moment by moment. Am I continually in touch with the reality of God, or do I pl uh, pray only when things have gone wrong? When there is something uh, distasteful in my life, I must learn to identify myself closely with the Lord in, in, all, in ways of holy fellowship and oneness with, with, with some of us have not yet even begun to learn. I must be about my Father's business, and I must learn to live every moment of my life in my father's house and this is my testimony i meditate on i'm in my father's house who is my father he is the god of bible he's all he is the god that created everything he is the alpha and omega the beginning and the end he knows all about us and i can stand here today tall with my head up high because i am a child of god hallelujah praise the lord
that I could not pay to give us that right relationship what a reckless love that was wow wow Jesus all God's people say 